Hello everybody, welcome back to Big Studios X. Today we're going to be doing a quick redo of Spider-Man 2021. So, if you're not in the loop, Spider-Man has a new suit and, you know, I think it could look better. Starting this off, let's talk about where the suit kind of goes wrong. Biggest thing that is wrong here are the eyes. It has the right shape and then it doesn't. <laughs> It goes from this from this really nice Spider-Man eye shape uh, being the teardrop and um, just simple, simple shape, no spikes around it. And then it gives it these beady eyes of which make it look like it's a super villain, which I'll get into in a moment here. But yeah, that's just not working out. The yellow in the background doesn't help this at all either. I'll get into that. That's more color theory than anything. You've got blue and yellow, and you've got no red, which, you know, Spide Spidey kind of needs a little bit of red. I mean, of course, there are Spider-Man suits that don't have red. We've got the bulletproof suit, which is black and yellow, but that works because it's a specialty suit, and he needed it for a special reason. He's got the big time suit which changes colors and it has red at one point, but it doesn't have the red and blue, so there. We've got, um, off the top of my head, what else doesn't have red and blue or red? I mean, there, I, I know that there are more out there, but just off the top of my head, this doesn't work. <laughs> okay. Getting a little bit more back on track, we'll get into um, the cut. Like I was saying, this looks like a supervillain suit. This looks like Dr. Octopus coming back as the superior Spider-Man after he became the superior octopus. And he's just decided that his color scheme works better and he'll add a little bit of blue instead of green as well as orange. So you got to change that. He can't be the superior octopus. He these designs are, are kind of too close, honestly. So that's that's honestly my biggest problem is this doesn't feel like Peter Parker. So what does feel like Peter Parker? Peter Parker is probably the most approachable and relatable char Marvel character uh, that I could probably bar none. Just kidding. There, I'm sure there's other ones that I'm just not going to be thinking about and you'll totally roast me in the comments but spider-man has this way about him where you could approach him i feel like with the red and blue classic suit i wouldn't be terrified i wouldn't be utterly terrified to approach him like i would iron man or captain america who are just these big guys in these big suits with this is just a skinny guy some who's most of the time a kid who's, who's just trying to do his best and this beady-eyed, almost like uh, uniform-looking suit doesn't scream, I am approachable, like Spider-Man should be. Spider-Man should be scary to his villains and then uh, approachable by, his, uh, by the people who he protects. So what can we do to fix this suit to make it a more Peter Parker-esque suit? First of all, those eyes need to be changed so badly. So, boop, there we go, right here. There, that, that alone changes so much, it becomes still terrifying with the glowing eyes, which he's had glowing eyes before. He's had uh, on the all new, all different Spider-Man is glowing, glowing eyes and a glowing spider. It works, it can work. But that fit the story. He was really rich, and he was able to make whatever he wanted. I don't think he's that rich anymore. So I don't know what's powering this suit. This suit, overall, this suit seems like it should be a specialty suit. Like, like I said, like the, um, like the bulletproof, like the chrome, the chromed uh, Spider-Man armor, and just like anything else and I'm not hating on this suit because it doesn't have any red on it even though red is my favorite color probably to do a spider-man in a little bit but 
it's not that. White does work. White can work on a Spider-Man suit with no red. We've, see, we've seen it in the spider armor. Like I just said, the chrome spider armor is pretty much all white because it's chrome. There's a bug on the camera. Um, the black the black suit, That's that's got a big old white emblem on it, and I don't see any red on that. That works really well. But like I'm trying to say, this just looks like a super villain suit. He is scary with these, with those eyes especially. He is terrifying. He doesn't seem warm and approachable and lighthearted. This seems like he should be really serious. So to change that up, we need to add in that flair of Spider-Man. Now, they clearly chose not to give him the webs, so I won't do that. I'm going to try and keep this as close to the original design as possible, but make it feel like this is Spider-Man. So what does that mean? First, changing the eyes. Easy peasy, just making them the class, classic eyes, keeping the shape and all of that. I'm then, from there, or while, while I'm there, I'm going to completely re-outline everything. So I'm gonna copy the style, I'm just gonna trace the lines, and then I'm gonna color in, and then do all the same shading, all the same everything, just changing the eyes and changing the color. That's all I'm changing. So, Dustin, Dustin Weaver, you keep everything. This is still your design, just with a different paint, paint job. So, and when I do that, guess what? This suit becomes Spider-Man. This is a really good Spider-Man suit. I like it. With the right colors, it becomes great. The eyes, once they're classic, fantastic. They're, that's Spider-Man. I would approach this Spider-Man. I can relate to this colorful Spider-Man. I kept the white. The white works on Spider-Man. This is an older, more matured Spider-Man at this point. And you know, I started associating putting white on a matured Spider-Man, which is partly in reason why I'm not the biggest fan of the Far From Home Spider-Man because he's starting to get white, but I guess he's maturing and that's part of blah, 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 doesn't matter. The white on Spider-Man works for a matured Spider-Man. Look no further than the PS4 Insomniac Spider-Man. He's got the white, he's got the white emblem, he's got the white shoulder, he's got white gloves and boots and I, I'm not going to go into all the detail, but he looks good. White on a Spider-Man looks good. And, you know, if you want to see what white looks like, I also did that and, you know, it's, it, it, it works, but it's not the best and yeah. so I still think the the first way I'm showing you, which is back to this with the blue, with mostly blue and um, 
with the littlest amounts of white around to be like a more tougher knee pad material or whatever. It works. This Spider-Man suit is good. It's just unfortunately painted wrong. <laughs> so, yeah. I don't know. That's all I wanted to show is that this suit doesn't deserve to be hated because it's a bad suit. It's a good suit. Just like, I, like I've been saying, it's a good suit just done wrong, which is possible, which is uh, happens a lot sometimes. It's not done wrong. Okay, that's, that, that's wrong of me to say. It's just not done to the best it can be. It's, it's good. It could just be better. I think I should leave it there bef before I, I get hated in the artist community. So, if you like this kind of video, and if you want me to, I don't know, if you want, if there's another comic book suit or M MCU, DCU suit that you want me to redo or something, I don't know, comment down below. This was really fun to do, and yeah, I just kind of hope they change, they change this to my color scheme, because I think mine is superior. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna stop. This is the third time I've recorded this.